Right, here you are guys, don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can, if not we're screwed and we're going to have to retake this. So what we've got, our shoe, already masked up, so, heat gun. If you ever go to the shoe the way, just move it out of the way. Yeah, start it up, beeswax. I like to do is try and get the beeswax a bit hotter before you start doing it, and then just start eating up your shoe. Okay, eating up both and just apply it on smoothly, trying to get it full amount everywhere. Keep applying it, getting it nice and smooth, get it everywhere. Getting it smooth then, moving it nice enough. Yeah. Not too bad. Right. Pop your wax over the side, put your gun down on this one. Not too bad. See all the wax, wax is on it. And see? Yeah. Now it's not going to stay that shiny. It's going to go a nice, dullish colour. Same as that. What we should have done is explain at the beginning that you have to fill your shoe with wet newspaper. This just stops the leather from shrinking and making your shoe a little bit smaller. So if you have quite a tight feet, like I've got, I've got these with a size 8 and I'm a size 9. You can fit into them mostly when you've got parade shoes, but what you're going to have to make sure is you're going to try and make sure that all the wax just gets applied smoothly. So at the edges, what you'll see is you've got like, huge dimples just where it meets the, the sidelines. Yep. So what you're going to do is just melt it down. That's why you put the uh, tape down, so you're not going to have to ruin your welt. Because that's what I didn't do on the other shoe, and I'll show you really quickly again what happened to it. All sides got absolutely wrecked. So then, when you started polishing it, it breaks off. Shit. All right. So while that's drying, I'm gonna carry on with this one. Carry on doing the same as what I was doing before. Make sure all the polish, nice and smooth down. Try not to get polish everywhere because I've just been polishing my shoes again. Polish. So now, once it's started, you've got a base on. That's not it. You're gonna have to start using more. This is my third stick. Same as what we we're doing before, guys. Smoothing it on, getting every little bit on, getting it covered. Gives it a nice smooth finish at the end. The more you do this, the easier it is. Do bear in mind, if you're using a heat gun, you can burn yourself, so just try not to point it directly at your face or your hands, anything like that, or touch it as I just did then. Burn yourself. Because the beeswax is wax, it's got oil in it, it's always got oil in it. Most natural things have oil in it, we have oil in it, in us. So you, this is just basically going to be getting rid of most of the oil which is inside it, so you're going to get a harder finish. But do bear in mind, it can crack if you get all the oil out of it. Next step is what I'm going to pause the video for, is we're then going to start polishing it. So I'm going to finish these off, hopefully this has helped you so far. 